today she's uh, here in India and she's uh, you know very committed to the cause of social enterprise she thinks that uh, India is a hotbed today uh, with respect to um, uh, social enterprises she's closely associated with the school of social enterprise and uh, she's going to tell me more on the, why she thinks India is the right place for such enterprises to thrive uh, how much uh, of potential do you see in um, uh, developing countries with respect to social enterprise and uh, why do you think that uh, India is a country that needs uh, great assistance and honing? Well, actually I'm not sure that India needs great assistance. You have two million social enterprises in India at the moment, uh, which is absolutely amazing. This is not a new idea. It's certainly not an idea that's fresh from you know, London or anywhere like that. Um, and so, but I think that What's already been shown is that social enterprises have a great deal to offer, particularly in areas of great deprivation or, or uh, addressing environmental issues. And what the School for Social Entrepreneurs in India does is it gives the opportunity for people who've got brilliant ideas about how they might want to improve their community, um, and how they might want to set up a social business. That's a business that invests back in its social purpose. Uh, the School for Social Entrepreneurs, SS India, is, uh, is the way to create that leadership and to support those people who want to set up those social enterprises. There's some great examples here today. This is their third year, so we now have a cohort of 60 plus uh, leaders in the social uh, enterprise world in India. Do you feel that uh, uh, there is great potential for corporates to tie up and uh, to take this uh, movement forward like you said, uh, we have so many enterprises already. Uh, what needs, uh, what it needs, I feel, is the right hand-holding. Well, what, what, what social enterprises need is that these are people who are setting up businesses. So they need support and mentoring, just like any business does. So what PwC and other USHA and other corporates can do is provide that, as you call it, hand-holding. They can. Uh, they can provide mentoring, they can provide business skills, um, and they can help to develop. But also what corporates can do is they can look at their own supply line, and they can see whether in their own supply line they might actually be able to let social enterprises bid for that business and do so, and contract with them. So this is not about just doing good, this is about creating viable businesses that will survive and go on to possibly become even huge businesses why uh, you know a youngster should look at uh, uh, the school of social enterprise and also look at uh, social enterprise as a lucrative opportunity well I think that, that there's two reasons one is that if you want to do good in your community and do good in the world this is one definitely one way that you will be able to do that because you will get a sympathetic ear and somebody who will hear your passion and what you want to do and will support you to do it. And the second thing is, this is about creating a business. So it is about creating a business which will help you support your family as well as your community and earn a decent living in doing it.